Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. Alright, break time's over. <laughs> We've been making our way through the various caves. Our end goal was this Carissa plant. Carissa? I don't know. I mean, I struggle with GIF and JIF. And that's only three letters. And, uh, yeah, this is to, to, because it's easier to pick it up now than it is to double back later. So, let's see. All right, I got the fire sword. I think that's probably going to, yeah, yeah, that's going to be the best one for these guys for the moment. Um, we got all these lovely things that want to kill us. Although, with my magic where it is, I'm tempted to just teleport to town. Although, we are awfully close to level 11. Yeah, I'm poisoned. I know I'm poisoned. Excellent, your level has increased. Good, that means that I got the uh, extra magic to do this. <laughs> your body returns to normal. Well, I mean... Come on. There we go. Alright. Let's make our way, because I'm going to need to... I'm, I'm definitely going to have to stop by the inn. And I'm poisoned again. I know. I know. I got poisoned by a bunch of stuff. You're poisoned. Thank you. Oh, your magic is too low? Uh... Your magic is too low? Then, uh... Boots of teleporting it is! Deporta! Let's, uh... Yes! <laughs> I feel a hundred dollars lighter. Thank you for asking. Alright, what do I have for items now? I got a medical herb, two ant- oh, I had two antidotes. Oh, okay. I got a lysis, I got a fruit of lime. Uh, let me, let me get one more, um, let me get one more warp boots. And, yeah, that should be it. Let's go ahead and save this game before anything really, really bad happens. Save state. Save state. Okay. So now we're going to head to the last the last area before we can leave uh, Porta. And that's going to be this cave off to the east here. Uh, if you remember over by Brian, Brianar, Brianamar, we had another area very similar to this where... Uh, oh, you throw stuff too. Uh, Flying things. Um. Oh. Crikey. Uh, wasn't there something else? No, there. No, there. This was just a really good place to get uh, XP and stuff. Spent a little bit of time grinding here before too. And I might, I might do another little grinding session to get us, because if we can get maxed out at 16 ahead of time, that means we don't have to worry about any level stuff at all. Let me go get uh, my Sword of Wind. And... Let's see what dangers this cave holds, shall we? More creatures immune to... Oh, oh, oh. I'm glad you shot that in the wrong direction. Was there? Oh, okay. Um... Paralyzing... <laughs> the spiders of paralysis are probably my first, uh... And that's what paralysis does for you. You can't charge up your sword. 
That's why that's why paralysis is a little bit dangerous. Your body returns to normal. Alright. And now <laughs> we've got a uh We got a thing for that. Nope, 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 nope. Not this time. Not this time, good sir. Alright, I need to duck down this cave. And now I'm poisoned. Because of course I am. Uh, I've got an antidote with me, right? There we go. Ah, uh, fine. I'll leave myself paralyzed until I actually need to do something about it later. Alright, um, I need to... Oh. Oh. Bats. I hate flying things. About that paralysis. <laughs> yep. My body returns to normal. My brain, however... Ow! Oh, it's another Mimic. It's a Mimic that poisons you. Ugh, crikey. What is your element of choice? Shall I burn you with fire? Alright, that takes care of that. That takes care of that. <laughs> they... All right, at least I know the bats can't bother me that much. My defense is enough to, to manage that. Germany. Oh, but they can still push me around. Okay. Here I am sitting there going, Aha! They can't wound me. But it still matters. All right, where am I, where am I even going? Here's the, um, uh, hmm. Need to get to, I need to get to there. That's gonna, I need to, B, okay. Are you, oh, you are. Of course you are. Oh, and of course you did. <sighs> your magic points, your magic is too low. Criminy. Alright. I... I might need to... Try this again in a little bit. Alright, um... Yeah, I need to head this away. There is XP down the cave to the left, but no items or anything like that. And I need to head... This. This was a cave and a half. Go away. Alright, let's take care of you. Nope, oh, nope. Magic's too low. Turn that off before we accidentally keep uh, dinging ourselves. I need some more fruits of power, or even better, I need some more magic rings. Um, yeah, I need to. If you keep going that way, you're you're gonna double back to where you started. So we need to go here. Uh, 
make our way further south. Oh, I thought there might have been a guy between here and there. There we go. I can't remember when we get it, but there is a ring that actually fires your first level blast automatically. No need to charge it up. I just wish I could remember where that was. Alright, with health and magic being what it is, I'm going to try to do fancy footwork instead. Nice to know that you can't outrun paralysis. I guess that kind of makes sense. And... yeah. Oh, oh. Dodging. We even... Ow! Nope, almost. And we're gonna dodge and weave and duck and dodge. Round and round we go. Yikes. Actually, if I'm not gonna bother engaging those guys, I might as well have the Sword of Wind ready. There we go. We now have the fog lamp. Uh we're on magic and hit points what it is. I am messing with these fools. Let's head over to Porta. Porto. Porta? Portaro? Let's rest up, shall we? Um, I got two lysis plants and a fruit of lime. Uh, let's get one warp boots. Nope. Let's get our water gear ready. Let's get our refresh ready. Uh, let's at least get to Joel, and then I might teleport back over to Oak to pick up a Fruit of Power or two. Because, uh, I really would like to have some way to replenish my magic points here and there. My father lost his fog lamp and is rather upset. You should come back later. We're not open right now. Go away. The owner accepts the fog lamp. You went into the cave to give this to me? You have great courage. And a sword. Please use my boat as you like. That fog lamp is very beautiful. Alright. I feel like we need a sea shanty. Don't, don't ask me to sing a sea shanty. You don't, you, you really don't want me to sing a sea shanty. I am on the lookout to watch for a Dragonia's attack. Be quiet. I lost something and I'm all mixed up. Okay. So first things first. Um... Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Please hop on my back. I'll take you wherever you like. <laughs> uh, typos. <laughs> and the worst part is uh, it let it, it let it go through because I made you a moderator. Like, <laughs> all right. Starting to reconsider. <laughs> go, go, go! Put yourself in timeout for a couple minutes. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. We we now have the big, big, wide ocean that we can now sail from various spots. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. All was not. Oh, oh yeah. Um, that's right. These guys were fire. I got it. Okay, they did shoot stuff at you. Uh, I forget who is worth all the XP and everything. But first things first, we need to come in here. Uh, some there we go, the love pennant. <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna need that a little bit later. 
that really wasn't my first uh my first i needed to go to joel so that way we get a, a spot to teleport to and from although if he's gonna sit there and give us the xp i'm not gonna say no ow all right, we need to calm those whirlpools. That that is our objective: is, is to calm the angry sea. You see, and we got a few different ways. We got a few different things we can do. That uh, we got to get the original objective. Take care. Bye bye. There we go. This is Joel Island. The next one to the west is Evil Spirit Island. Well, I, want, I wonder what's over at Evil Spirit Island. Could it be the, uh, the evil spirits? Alright, where did I need it to go? I needed to... Uh, that's right. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the inn just yet, because I'm going to teleport back to Oak anyway. Hey, you surprised me. I thought you were a monster. Uh, thank you? Since a woman sorcerer from Dragonia went to the next island, it's been weird. People have disappeared and strange monsters live there. I guess that's why it's Evil Spirit Island? Clark, who is the Elder's brother, has not returned from the next island yet. Hmm. Did he travel with Luce? I don't want to be a sacrifice. Where's my Uncle Clark? Wait, what? <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Uh, huh? Oh, sorry. I zoned out for a minute. I'm Ralph, the Elder of Joel. Someone came from the next island and asked for a girl sacrifice if we wish safety to our island. One from Porta volunteered, though. She's monster prey by now. The girl substitute from Porta is called Mizia. I pray for her. Oh, hey! She was the one who uh, we were supposed to meet. Hmm. Hmm. An empty storage shed. Now, <laughs> in more modern games, having an empty shed like that with nothing in it is, is nothing. But when you consider that the memory and resources available to have that shed be a place you can walk in, you know something's there. All right. What do they have in their shop anyway? Do you wish to buy? I don't know. What you got? Medi Holy! 120 bucks for a medical herb? Mm -mm. Antidote? Uh, well, I guess I don't have to travel to Oak for Fruits of Power, but, um... Great googly moogly. Where, where, where's my, uh... Where's my price list? Yeah, a fruit of power over an oak is 80 bucks. I could even go back to Nader's and get it for 100. These guys, these guys want 180. And a world where it teleports a thing? I don't know. I don't know. And... <laughs> I don't know. An alarm flute, you say? If only I knew a place where I could get them cheaper. No! No! Ah, fine. I hit the wrong button on the gamepad. Doggone it. I was gonna go teleport back to Leaf and pick one up for like 50 bucks. Wait, were they 50 bucks? No, they weren't 50 bucks. Yeah, no, they were 50 bucks. So we went from $50 in Leaf to $30. $300 in Joel for the same alarm flute. Alright, since I just made a legit costly mistake like that, um, th this might be a good time to go ahead and, you know, and cut. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. 
I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future games revisited episodes to coffee craft live stream archives, instrument repair, upgrades and construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.